Yes then guys, how are we all doing? It is officially one day until we get a brand new promo in FIFA 21. Summer Stars is coming and it is touching down tomorrow at 6pm. But in today's one, we are checking out a newly upgraded Path to Glory card. He has gone from a 94 all the way to a 97. It's Marco Verratti. <laughs> Our man Marco Verratti, 5'5", five five, medium high, right footed, 4 star, 4 star. And I did try this guy out as a 94. I believe it was a 94 or a 95 that he started out. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I used him in draft uh, when these cards came out essentially. And he was lightning on the ball. Like super close control dribbling, insanely quick as well. The acceleration was very noticeable. And he's gone all the way up to a 97. And if Italy beat Belgium on Friday, I believe they play. Man, he's going to be a 98 overall card. So this guy could potentially be a 99 in FIFA. He cost me 645k, a little bit on the pricey side. I will check his price again in a second. Heading over to his attributes, the acceleration goes up to 99 with the Shadow Chem Star and the Sprint Speed goes up to a 97. And there are so many 99s on this guy's card. It is absolutely mad. 99 Stamina, 99 Aggression, 99 Agility, 99 Balance, 99 Composure. Almost 99 in ball control and dribbling and reactions. 99 short pass, 99 long pass, 99 vision, attack position in volleys, penalties. Like what is this car? Stats are mind blowing. He doesn't need an upgrade, essentially. If he does get an upgrade, there'll be even more 99s, which is you know, it's a little bit exciting. I'm all for that. But the thing that stands out to me straight away, the dribbling stats, essentially all of them are 98, 99 minus reactions being 95. So you are going to notice an insane response time on the ball. Super neat, tidy, close control dribbling, uh, which is good to see for a centre midfielder. The passing stats are there. You can't get much better than 99 vision, 99 short pass, 99 long pass. Uh, he should be pinging balls like Prime Perlo. He does offer something going forward, which is nice to see. The tap position is great. The volleys, the penalties, the finishing. The shot pattern is a little bit on the low side. If you were playing him as like an attackive player, I maybe would look to boost that up a little bit. But we have got the Shadow Chem style, as he is going to be a centre mid for us in today's player view. The defensive stats with the Shadow, we go up to pretty much mid to high 90s across the board. Uh, and Stamina being 99 is fantastic, 99 aggression is great. The strength and the height is a little bit of a concern, but I didn't notice it too much with the 94 overall Verratti. So I'm holding up high hopes for this. If anything, his strength's gone up a little bit. So the card looks absolutely mental. And player traits, we got flair, outside the foot shot, and playmaker, CPU, AI traits. So those are the attributes. Let's go meet the team that this man is rocking with. The boys. Hello, hello. Red, Killian, Mbappe. The record, 119 and 63, all in Div 1 and foot champs. It's a bit of a goal machine. You would expect that from a team of the, team of the season, Mbappe. We got Greasy Grease. Obviously, he is not going to get another upgrade because France did end up losing to Switzerland. GG's Greta Xhaka, best player in the world. Easily worth 30, 40 million. Paddy Vieira, Kante and Kaka are our midfield three. And the back four is as you can see. Super strong team, guys. It's getting to that stage of FIFA where there are just so many crack cards. And I'm a bit bored of foot champs. The team of season, like the red picks, doesn't really interest me at this stage of the game. Uh, so I'm not really playing much of it at the moment. I do want to mix it up and do some silver foot champs gameplay towards the end of the year. Keep an eye out for that one. Uh, that should be good fun. But at this stage, I'm just playing Div 1 and I'm trying out new cards when they get released. That is pretty much all I'm doing in Ultimate Team. Custom tactics, we're playing press after possession, loss 5, whip and 7, depth. The formation is a 4-3-1-2, Verratti is a cam. I'm going to try him as a cam in the first game, then we're going to move him back to where Kaka is and play him as that right centre midfielder. Just to mix it up, test out majority of his attributes, I actually really want to see how he is going forward, see if he can finish when needs be, uh, and test them finesse shots and the long shots. He's on penalties, he will be on free kicks as well if we do end up getting any. But let's see if he can do an absolute madness in that camp position in the first game. Mbappe, Griezmann up top. The midfield three is Kante Vieira and big man Ricardo Kaka. And the back four stays the same. So those are the custom tactics. That is the team we are rocking, guys. I'm going to hop into Div 1. 2250 skill total. It is going to be sweaty. All right, I'm bracing myself for this. I've not played too much competitive FIFA in the past couple of days. I've mainly done career mode in Silver Lounge. But I'm going to compile all the clips into a montage for you. I'll catch up with you afterwards.
So there we go, three super sweaty games of FIFA. We did end up taking the Allen, one of them GG's to my boy Sharky, if you're watching this, GG's lads. But Marco Verratti, as a cam, was actually really, really nice. The one thing you notice straight away, the dribbling is just insanely noticeable on the card. He is absolutely, well and truly, cracked on the ball. You can't improve it unless you just get that little boost of reactions, ball control and dribbling, but that'll be minor. You won't notice that too much. The pace is there, the acceleration. Sometimes he takes a touch that is just too, he's too quick. There's one or two occasions where he took his first touch and it just went miles and he was sprinting into it, lost the ball straight away. So try and get the ball under control and uh, keep it close to his feet is probably how I play with this card. The positioning, where should you start Marco Verratti? I mean, out and out, medium high work rates is screaming centre defensive midfield. I would definitely play him as a CDM or a centre mid if you had the chance to. Even an attackive centre midfielder because going forward he offers a lot. The passing stats, the playmaker stats are great shooting. He can finish as you would have seen by that gameplay. But he is definitely suited as a centre midfielder. Almost similar to where I play Kante. He's small, he's nimble, he can get in, intercept nicely. And in tight situations, his dribbling stats are just ridiculous. So you're going to be able to duck and weave, drop a shoulder, break the press, and then ping balls down the line. That is where you should be playing Marco Verratti, guys. But if you have the card and you have used him, let me know down below what you think. Uh, it'll be good to see your opinions, guys. And where do you play him? Do you play him with a CDM, a cam, a centre mid, even a striker? I know, it's the end of FIFA. Maybe you're feeling a bit funky with it. Anyway, I've been Morsi. I hope you enjoyed this one. As always, if you're new around here, please do consider dropping me a subscription. 2,000 is my big, big goal, and I want to get as close to that as possible before FIFA 22. Drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know if you're excited for the new promo Summer Stars. I believe it's called Summer Stars. And let me know what you think they're going to drop. Is it going to be mad? I'm hoping for some like high 98, 99 overall cards. Somewhat similar to Summer Heat from last year, if you guys remember that one. But I will be doing player views galore on that Friday night, so keep an eye out for that, guys. And until then, look after each other, guys, and take it easy.